What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. You dig what I'm saying? Let me know how you guys feel about this angle. I'm trying out a new angle. It might be a little bouncy. The camera might be a little shaky. Um, I'm using my new foam out for my guys over there at Full Option. You dig what I'm saying? If you haven't been in the loop with every single video, if you haven't seen the most recent video, I'll definitely put a card up. Um, I got sponsored by my guys, Official Full Option on Instagram. You guys go check them out. They make some crazy foam mounts and some dope air fresheners for your car. They look hella good. The designs are impeccable. This is the air freshener that I have right now. And then my my foam mount is also a wireless charger. You do what I'm saying? And the arms on it are automated. If you want to see the review or the unboxing, the cards will be up on the screen and at the end of this video. Stay tuned to the end of this video. And I'll also link the videos at the end of this at the end of this one so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this video let's start off by rolling that intro and we'll get into today's topic Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You did. All right, y'all. You did what I'm saying. So, coming in hot. Today's video, we're talking about the five reasons, in my personal opinion, as to why you should. <laughs> the smiles that you get when driving this car, like that's that's one of the reasons. That's one, that's one of the reasons. But anyway, the top five reasons why. You should own a fifth gen Camaro SS at least once in your life. You know what I'm saying? At least one time. It, it should be on your bucket list, honestly. And here's why. So coming in hot at number one is going to have to be the 6.2 liter V8 that these cars come with, man. Honestly, bang for your buck. Definitely has the torque that you want. Definitely has the horsepower that you want coming straight off of the lot at its time. You know what I'm saying? For an NA car, this car holds its own and the LS3 definitely, 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 as you guys already know, holds its own. That's why you get terms like LS swap the world or um, just LS swap it, bro. You know what I mean? Definitely because everybody knows what an LS3 is capable of. Now I do have the automatic transmission, which is not the LS3 motor. You're not gonna get the LS3, you're gonna get the L99 when you get the automatic. The LS3 comes in the manual versions. Now you guys already know CarMax didn't have a manual at the time and I had no choice. My back was against the wall. I needed to get a new car as soon as possible. Hazel was on its last leg. If you guys don't know, Hazel, it was my 2011 V6 Camaro. Um, Long story short, my uncle blew the motor when I took it to him to get it painted in auto gray. Um, if you guys were not, oh my God, what the heck? Bro, bro, what? It's a G-Wagon, what the, what? <laughs> what? I've never seen, I really hope I got that just because I just flipped over the camera, but I've never seen nothing like that, that's crazy. But anyway, um. Yeah, if you guys, if that was before your time, you know what I mean, before you stopped in to tune into the channel, it's all good. Don't worry, I'll go ahead and put a picture up on the screen right now of how that car looked after the paint job. Now, I'm going to be honest, that, that car, the paint looked great in pictures, but when you saw it in person, definitely was not the same thing. That car was a catfish. My uncle, he sucks at doing what he does. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, that car definitely started it off for the channel but the only thing that that car was lacking was power i wanted something faster and that's why you go get the v8 that's why you get the ls3 that's why you get the ss now this car i'm not gonna sit here and say that you know what i mean you step on the gas pedal and you you damn near snap your neck it feels like you just hit the freaking ludicrous the ludicrous button on a damn tesla you know what i mean and you're just getting push back like you going back to the future or something like that you know what i mean i'm not saying it's nothing like that but the power is 
definitely there. You know what I mean? It's definitely there. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the L99s make, I want to say, 420 crank, and the LS3 makes 440 or 460, something like that. Don't quote me, you know what I mean? I know somebody will correct me in the comments down below, so y'all go ahead and do that. So that's gonna be number one. Now, number two, it's gonna have to be the timeless design of the fifth gen Camaro. The body lines, the way the face, the front end looks, how aggressive it is, the way the rear end looks when you slap some quad tips on there, how aggressive it looks. And then just like I said, the body lines, like the angles, everything, like it's the hips, how wide they are, how wide the fenders are, how wide your quarter panels are. It just looks good. And let me remind you, we are in 2020. The refresh, the fifth gen Camaro came out in 2010. That's 10 years later and people are still buying this car. You know what I mean? People are still trying to get the fifth gen. You know, not everybody has the bread to get the sixth gen. Now that's reason number three. Going straight into reason number three is the price. You know what I mean? The price point of this car. You can get a fifth gen Camaro for like 20,000 or less nowadays. Just because, you know what I mean? The sixth gen is out. Everybody wants the 6th gen. Not everybody has the bread for the 6th gen. Everybody traded in their 5th gens to get the 6th gen. You know what I mean? So you can definitely find a good deal. One that's not clapped out for a good amount like I did myself. This car I got from CarMax, it had about, I want to say 73,000 miles. And I paid 22 grand, I believe. Something like that, which is a little bit overpriced. But then again, you guys got to understand... It's car match, you know what I mean? You already know they're gonna tax and their prices are non-negotiable. And like I said earlier, my back was against the wall with Hazel because Hazel was on his last leg. My uncle blew the motor, he's an idiot. It is what it is, um, you know what I mean? Hazel was about to go out, so I really had no choice as far as like, okay, let me be picky and make sure I get a manual. Like, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't really any of that, you know? So definitely coming in at number three is going to be the price point coming in at number four it's gonna have to be the interior if you guys know me you guys been watching the channel for a while you already know how i am interior is definitely the most one of the most important things for me if the car's interior looks crappy but the exterior is amazing nine times out of ten i'm not getting that car and this is why i'm gonna be honest you sit in your car 100% of the time that you're driving the car. So why would you want a car that looks super badass and amazing on the outside, but then when you get inside, it's just dull. You know what I mean? There's plastic everywhere. There's, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not worth it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not worth it. Now that, I'm gonna be honest, the base model joints, definitely, they, they definitely fall into that category. Um, when I did have the base model V6, which was Hazel, um, it, I'm not gonna lie, it was lacking in the interior. And that was one of the things that I didn't like about it. Um, but anyway, going to, going to the interior of this car, if you get the 2SS model, It's tripping. What the fuck? It keeps saying the voltage is low. How's the voltage low? Oh man. Anyway, sorry I got off track. I'm gonna right back to what we were talking about. Um, if you if you get the two SS package like I have, you get the leather seats. You get the heated. They're heated seats. You know what I mean? And then you get the heads up display. You get the navigation. You get the, um, what else, what else? You get the leather on the side panels of the door where your arms go. Sorry guys, we're going over speed bumps right now. And then you get like the little automated screen on the dashboard in the middle and you still have that heads up display on top of that which just ties the car together so well, so well. But yeah, man, honestly, Number four, like I say, is gonna have to be the interior of these cars. You can really get a very nice, clean interior car 
um, interior on um, one of these SS's for not that much. Like I said, the price is not ridiculous, you know what I mean? At least anymore. Now, coming in at number five, and number five is going to be the last one, the last three. You dig what I'm saying? It's just going to have to be the way that it, it kind of ties into, you know, the car being a V8. But the way that it sounds, bro, like... It's amazing. My car, I'm going to be honest with y'all. My car, my setup, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a card up. It's cat deletes three inches all the way back to a 4.5 inch quad tip. Now I know there's a lot of people who are going to hate that setup. Oh, it's obnoxious and ah it sounds like a horn and ah oh, wah, 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 wah. shut up bro I don't give a damn your opinion means nothing to me at the end of the day this is my car I pay for it I'm gonna do what I want to do to it you know what I mean but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little pull for y'all so y'all can hear this definitely worth it y'all you dig what i'm saying the sound if you get a nice exhaust and i'm definitely getting long tube headers do not worry if you get long tube headers with a nice cat back exhaust or you could do straight pipes all the way back with some long tube headers these cars open up so well they sound so good they backfire like crazy this car was backfiring like this before the tune you know what I'm saying? And in the tune, the tune is just a bass tune to turn off the O2 sensors, the DOD, and all the little extra giblets that I don't want on the car. You know what I mean? It, it's not like a horsepower gain tune or anything like that. And it sounds like that. You know what I mean? It was doing that before the tune. It sounds like a gun going off. Honestly, it's ridiculous. But yeah, man, honestly, that's going to have to do it for this video. Quick little recap. Number one is gonna be the V8 LS that you get. Number two is gonna be the timeless design. Number three is gonna be the price point. Number four is gonna be the interior. And number five is gonna be the sound of all them body who's going crazy in the back end of the car, you know? But yeah, man, without further ado, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. And make sure, please, 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 please make sure you guys go to official full option on Instagram right now. You dig what I'm saying? Go shop, get you a foam out, get you an air freshener, do what you gotta do. Use promo code JI Squad. It pops up. I need three of you guys to go do this. Three of you guys. Why? Because after the third purchase with my promo code, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So if you, you know what I mean? If you want an air freshener, you don't have the money for it, and even after throwing that discount code on there, it's still too pricey, you know what I mean? Encourage one of your friends to go use the code and buy the air freshener so then you can enter in for a chance to win the air freshener or the foam mount, whichever one we end up going with. Um, in the end, you dig what I'm saying? I only need three of y'all to do that. So without further ado, like I say, man, go check out my guys over at Official Full Option and make sure you smash that subscribe button. You turn on those post notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up, a huge thumbs up. And I'm gonna see you guys. Matter of fact, drop a comment in comment section down below and let me know your top five reasons as to why you either want a 15 Camaro SS have a 5th gen Camaro SS or have had a 5th gen Camaro SS. Let me know. I'm very curious. I want to hear you guys' reasons. I want to see if they are in line with my reasons or I want to hear, you know what I mean? You guys might have some different reasons that I've never heard before or I didn't really think about. Um, I want to hear them. So drop them down in the comment section down below and uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.